Today is our first rehearsal. We open in less than two weeks, actually. We open on Saturday. So we're doing this 25th anniversary concert at Royal Albert Hall. I play uh, Christine Daae. Really excited. Well, she's definitely a dream role for a lot of girls, and she was definitely a dream role for me. And um, I was very lucky that I got to do the show. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I've played the role in town for two years, but obviously because it's for, to get it right for the DVD, it's never been this intricate and there's so much time spent on it and the amount of makeup, as you can see, it's starting to crack. But it's a cool process. It helps with everything, you know, to get, get your head around it. Great, you know, to have Chris Tucker do it too, the original guy. I'm really looking forward to watching him do it. It's so detailed and, and to do this occasion, I just am so grateful for and really excited to do, put my take on it. So to start the rehearsals, go through this process with Chris Tucker on my birthday, it's a, it's a good one. Hi, I'm Cameron McIntosh and I'm in the wonderful um, Ealing Studios, those amazing historic film studios where we are putting um, Phantom of the Opera together for our 25th anniversary. It couldn't be a more perfect place um, and quite amazing to see so many people from the show's history and new people who have been in the production to make this one-off event with over 130 people in the cast and a glorious orchestra that you can hear next door. Um, and only three days to go, so I'm, I'm excited, but nervously excited. Well, today is the last run that we have in the room. We, for the last 10 days, we've been staging, putting the whole production together, getting people from different companies in at different times. And today, yesterday was the first time we actually sort of put all the scenes together just to sort of see how they one led into another. Today was the first time we ran it from start to finish, just to sort of see where the holes are. After this, we go into a um, Zitz probe rehearsal, so we hear it with the orchestra. So we start to, at this stage now, we start to combine all the elements that will build it to the extravaganza that we hope it will be. <laughs> Behold, she is singing to bring down the shaman. What, what all this is about is about seeing the auction before you hoik it up. I was part of the original crew who put it into Her Majesty's Theatre. I was one of the production electricians working with Andy Bridge, the lighting designer, and uh, building things for the show then as they wanted them. Well, they wanted the chandelier, obviously. You need one for Phantom of the Opera, and quite a big one for the Albert Hall. And we talked about it a while ago, but only recently they decided they really needed us to build one, so we did. Um, there were a few snags given the time, trying to get everything, all the 40,000 beads, um, globes, steel, laser cutting and things, and getting it into the buildings. It, it, it was built to break into pieces to fit in a 40-foot trailer. Um, but on Friday night, we had to dismantle the front of the stage to get access to the main elevators in the Albert Hall to get all the sections together. And then we were able to lift it up piece by piece and bolt it all together, ready for Saturday morning's technical rehearsal before the show on Saturday night. About midnight before we got in, and at five o'clock, we'd done a pyro test and we're having a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. 